Okay, I suppose I'm supposed to say something about E3 closing down. It's unfortunate, but all of the big vendors that would go to such a conference are sick of being upstaged. And how do you avoid being upstaged? You hold your own Nintendo Treehouse. We live in an era where news flies too fast for people to hold on to trailers to make some impact at a show. Microsoft will simply have their console exclusives announced alongside each other in their own bespoke show, which at this point is more packaged live stream than event. But the consumer has also come to completely distrust game media. I can't even recall the last time I heard a legitimate gamer beg for the hands-on impressions from a journalist months before a game is gold. But if you ask me for my chauvinistic take, I would have to say the writing has been on the wall ever since they extricated the booth babes. A bunch of glasses toting geeks getting to rub elbows with scantily clad women at a convention certainly had its appeal, and this is well before the outbreak of cosplay. But alas, the practice was written off as sexist, and ever since, we have seen a reduced anticipation for E3. So we say goodbye to the opportunity for upstaging. $2.99. And hello to more trailers released on YouTube, vaguely interactive chat feeds, and uninformative softball Q&As. Rest in peace, E3. Our modern bug-riddled releases didn't deserve you.